Messenger of Love from the Blessed Mother on December 23rd, 2021. There are a lot of things to do for the Lord and the Blessed Mother. In my heart, I desperately wish I could do more for them, but I am sorry for those consecutive days when my physical health has prevented me from doing so. At 3 p.m. on the 23rd of December, I offered the prayer to Jesus of mercy and glory and meditated. Despite my relentless and repeated cries, even those who are called and close to Jesus did not practice the five spiritualities. This made me feel so unworthy and not adequate enough to do His work, and thus, I felt ashamed and apologetic to God. I was so heartbroken that I prayed with tears. God the Father, my beloved Jesus, my heavenly mommy, the world is collapsing right now. Even your children who have been called are not awake and remain so complacent and disordered, which make my heart hurt so deeply. How much more deeply hurt are the hearts of Jesus and Mother Mary then? I feel great difficulty because I am so unworthy. What else could I do? At that moment, I heard a sweet yet sad voice from the image of the Blessed Mother with the tears of blood on the holy scroll of Jesus on the cross enthroned above my computer desk. As I looked at the Blessed Mother, she was weeping tears of blood and spoke to me. My pitiful daughter, my extremely beloved precious baby, who offers of her life with martyrdom even at the moment she undergoes near death every day, so that even one more soul can be saved. Do you want to see this world that is becoming sick? When I answered, Yes, mother. Various things unfolded instantly in front of me like a revolving lantern. In various disasters and calamities like floods, typhoons, tornadoes, forest fires, earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, all kinds of viruses, famines, and so forth happening around the world, I saw countless people die. Meanwhile, I saw the cunning Satan trying to destroy the world by attacking mankind regardless of men or women of all ages in every aspect possible, including playing one against another. He creates divisions in humanity through the Freemason, lust, greed, judgment, pride, disease, idleness, murder, suicide, and many others through his devils filling the sky and earth and roaming across the world to dominate it. In addition, the devils are approaching each individual, provoking and whispering. As such, those souls who are not awake fell into their snares and were dragged around here and there by the devils who manipulated them, leaving their souls and bodies devastated. The Blessed Mother spoke again. My beloved daughter, my little soul, my poor dear daughter, who is in pain every day and at every moment, just as Moses gave up his right to inherit the royal throne and Abraham gave up his son Isaac, you have laid down everything completely to the Lord and me to nourish the countless souls in this world, graciously offering excruciating pains with love to the point you even willingly put down your life to accomplish the mission and have never given up under the circumstances, like a fish being left 
to simmer in the pot as there is such a little soul like you who makes efforts with her entire strength and energy in her regularity my son Jesus and I can find rest you repeat the same words to nurture the souls entrusted to you in the midst of suffering to participate in my son Jesus for the atonement of the stupefying sins of my children in this world which even led you to losing consciousness regardless of it if they remain unchanged it's not your fault so do not blame yourself God the Father said no matter how much love may be granted to them if they do not accept it by misusing their free will even he can't force it all my beloved children in the world whoever wishes to save his life will lose it but whoever is willing to lay down his life for my sake will gain heaven do not calculate or weigh with human thoughts that the various disasters occurring all over the world are just random accidents there's no time to hesitate or procrastinate the disasters with the bursts of flames burning with stern justice of God are now continuously falling here and there it is now the very important time to separate the good grains from dry grass and you will be saved only when you practice the five spiritualities and stay awake at every moment for this purpose be united with my little soul who graciously offers of her extreme pain for the repentance of even one more soul and makes strenuous efforts with utmost devotion mobilizing all her heart and strength and arm yourselves with the armor of the five spiritualities and practice it then the world and misery which is heading towards its destruction will escape from the disaster of the flames burning with justice and the cup of God's wrath will change into the cup of blessing the ministers and shepherds of the Lord who have been specially chosen because I love you so much readily be awake even my beloved clergy whom I can receive into my eyes without pain and the souls whom I have called are far from practicing the five spiritualities and insulting the Lord as they are receiving Holy Communion sacrilegiously despite them saying to have made it known therefore my son Jesus is still bleeding on the cross now and there is no day that tears of blood can dry my eyes the cunning Satan who schemes destruction is making the world commit sins against God leading the souls to the road of hell by decorating it with luxurious palaces to deceive souls and infect them with errors which cause their devastation because of this even the children who have been specially called are in the position of Cain and Judas without realizing what they're doing if they continue to lead an easygoing life singing of peaceful and happy times grave disasters in the sky on the ground and in the seas will continue to occur and in the near future there will be the moment of overwhelming distress however if you follow my son and me by wearing the armor of the five spiritualities and unite with my little soul in this simple truth even objects as light as feathers when gathered in abundance can sink a ship
You will gain victory in the spiritual battle, and you will be the selected grains among good grains. In so doing, on the last day, you will wear the shining laurel crown and possess the tree of eternal life, and be escorted by the angels to the heavenly paradise filled with joy, love, and peace. Where there is no pain, sorrow, or agony 